Hi guys, it's Mrs. Ramsdale. I am going to show you how to put your um, Egypt picture together or your poster. Now my cat is on my table, so you're gonna see him come in and out. So um, I'm not gonna make him, I'm, I'm not gonna kick him off. So I'm not gonna stop recording every time he comes in. So here's what you need, okay? You need your sphinx head. It should have been cut out. You, it needs to be cut out. You need your small packet that I provided for you already, okay? You also need your vocabulary page cut out. And then you need the other page um, that it's together like this and you're supposed to cut it out and then cut it apart. And we'll just set these aside because we're gonna get to them later, right? So that's what you need. Plus you need some type of glue, scissors, and if you're lucky enough to have a stapler at home, a stapler will help you out. If you don't have a stapler, tape will be fine as well, okay? So, all right, get those things and then come back and see me. You can pause me and then unpause me and start me back, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, I built one of these at school already, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. Now, what you're gonna do is you are going to take your vocabulary page and you are going to take the head of the Sphinx. Actually, no, I'm going to take that part. You add the head last, because I remember doing this wrong the last time. Okay, sorry. Strike that. Let's try this now. Take your little notes. They are already stapled for you, because I did that for you. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a stapler, notice you see the black and the black. You're going to meet, make those meet. And if you're lucky enough to have a stapler, go ahead and staple it. There you go. All right, so now that is all one thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put a third staple in there just in case. If you do not have a stapler, this is a good place where you can just put tape over it and you can tape it. All right, so go ahead and you can pause me and then come back. That's step one. Step two, you are going to get these these two pieces, these are going to act like doors. So they're actually going to get glued on right here in these gray lines. So before we can glue though, there are dotted lines. You're going to fold on the dotted lines. So I'm going to fold them toward me. You can be as precise as you want on that dotted line. So you're gonna fold them to look like that. And I'm gonna fold it again. All right, so now you have what I call two doors. All right, now I am going to go ahead and put glue here. And then I'm going to glue that side down, rub. And as you can see, you can match up the feet and that will kind of help you. All right, and then I'm gonna do the other side. They kind of give you some, the kind of gray little skinny rectangles. And then I'm going to, what? Glue that. There you go. And now that they're glued down, they can open up. Go ahead and do that part. Pause me and then come back when you're ready to attach the head. Now, the final spot is to add the head on. And on the head, it says gl add glue here. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to add glue there. If you don't have glue, then you're gonna tape, okay? So you're gonna take your small, the, the body, and you are going to place it, and they have lines For you to line it up with the head or with the chest okay it doesn't have to be precise it's going to be as close as you can get it and hopefully you've already colored it if not adding some color to it would probably be really nice because it's going to look pretty cool so if you use those golds and those turquoise and things like that whatever colors you want and now your poster is complete here's your poster and you can open it up 
and you can show me. This is how this is what I should be seeing on that last flip grid. Ta-da!